Hey, everybody. Glad to have you on the show. Sorry about the delay from before. You know, sometimes things happen and uh, you don't know why. So anyway, we had to reboot everything and start all over. Glad to have you with us on the show today. Appreciate you being here. For those of you who joined me earlier and experienced all the technical difficulties, I'm sorry. Hey, we're going to be talking about eight tips to find your own GPS. That is your guidance performance system. There's a lot of things in our world that just we just get slammed up against, we run into, we get stuck, we don't we, we feel frustrated, we don't know how to go around it, we don't know how to get over it, we don't know how to go through it, we don't know how to go under it, we just kinda just there. And oftentimes we we just get lost in our own stuff of life. You ever been lost in your own stuff of life? I remember the first time I got lost. Right? You know, I got lost now I don't get lost very easy, but I remember the first time I got lost. Maybe you've been lost before. Maybe you've been in one of those situations where you just couldn't quite figure out which way to go, right? Well, I've been there, okay, and, and I know you've been there. I remember when I was in Boy Scouts, we, uh, we got a call one day, and we were asked to come do a search and rescue for a pilot who had bailed out of his plane and was lost. Hey, Lillian, glad to have you on the show. And what happened in that is we were given coordinates and a map and a grid and a compass, and we were to go find this pilot. And so uh, the pilot was lost, and it was, it was one of those things where we, we had the outline of the map, right? We had a compass, and we had a grid to work from. And so all we had to do is figure out how are we going to go about dividing this, this map grid up into a way to find the person. And that's what we did. We, we decided on how that we would go straight across to our end coordinate, then cut it back across at a diagonal to the other corner, and walk across to the middle and come back through and that would fi help us gain the quickest uh, amount of territory, the fastest, and find the person. Well, guess what? We found them. We found them in the second crossover. We found the pilot. Of course, it was a dummy hanging in a tree because they were giving us an exercise, how do you find a lost person? But you know, if that had been a real person, we'd have found them just as much, just as easy because we had a system to work by. We had a guidance performance system. Now this was back before satellites and tracking and all that. It was just a compass and a piece of paper and three guys with a plan. That's what we were taught to do. I could do that today without a GPS, without a, a global guidance system. I could do that, you know, it, it, because there's a, a way to do that. So hey, glad to have you on the show. Appreciate you being here, joining us today. We're going to talk about eight tips about finding your own guidance performance system. And uh, hopefully we can share that with you today. So if you're coming on the show, if you're on one of my other channels, you can catch me live on my profile over there, and you can comment below. Of course, I encourage you to do that. Comment below uh, today's sector, and uh, that'll just kind of you know that'll just kind of put us in a situation where I can see your comments and follow along with you. Like earlier, Lillian uh, said hi, and uh, we say hi back to Lillian. And uh, Linda Burton was on the show earlier, and Fernando Rubio was on the uh, show earlier. And so uh, we encourage others of you that were on the show earlier to be sure uh, and do that. So let's let's talk about this guidance performance thing. Let me bring up uh, the slides, and uh, we'll get started, right? So here we are. You know, how do you find out where you're supposed to be, right? How do you find out where you're supposed to be in this whole process of what's going on, right? How, how do you find that? Hey, Barry, glad to have you on the show today. You know, the, the, this whole process of, a, a, of, of performing a certain direction and taking your life a certain way, well, I think there's eight things you have to talk about. First of all, I think you have to figure that out. So why do we talk about it? Why do you need a personal or business or spiritual guidance performance system? 
Well, it's what I call is everyone has a hand in the face. Everybody has this. I don't know what it is for you. It could be a personal issue. It could be a financial issue. It could be a relationship issue. It could be a contract that's laying on your desk and you don't know how to fulfill it. It could be personnel issues, employee issues. It could be economic issues. It could be government issues. It could be mental issues. In other words, you just you, you just can't quite figure out what do you do next. It could be it could be a system. It could be a, it could be like for me earlier, the, my hand in the face was my computer needed to be rebooted because somehow or another it was creating a glitch, and so I had to do this all over. Okay. Well, fortunately, I I kind of had a way to figure that out. But everybody has a hand in their face. Everybody. And about something, you know, and and. So how do you get around that? Because when the hand is in your face, you can't see anything but the hand in your face. I don't care what's right here or over there or over there or over there. You know, I don't, it doesn't matter. When this is here, that's all you can see. That's all you can see. How do you get around that? How do you get past it? How do you navigate past that, right? Everybody has a resource shortage in something. Everybody has one. Okay, maybe it's time, maybe it's energy, maybe it's personnel, maybe it's uh, maybe it's product, maybe it's conversations, maybe it's a network. Everybody has a resource shortage in something that is keeping you from taking the next step. If you're a writer, an author, it could be it could be words or ideas or comments. Or if you're like on a on a show like this, it could be number of people watching. Or it could be your computer resource, or your, or, or your camera, or a microphone, or bad sound. Everybody has a resource shortage that has to be overcome. Okay, and sometimes because you have that shortage, you can't figure out how to get past it because it, it's it's like you carry it everywhere you go. I mean, it, you know, it's like it's stuck right there on the end. You know, it's like a zit. You know. It's like it's like fixing to go on that on a date, and all of a sudden you wake up and there's a big old pimple right there, and there's nothing you can do about it. Right? There's nothing you can do about it, and, and so doesn't matter what cream you put; it's just there. You have to deal with it. Sometimes we have those kind of shortages. Everybody has a challenge that needs to be resolved. Everybody has them. I don't care whether you're Mark uh, Zuckerberg or Bill Gates or you know the guy that's uh, standing down the corner with the sign trying to trying to earn enough money to get you know, um, trying to get trying to get his next meal or find a place to live. Everybody has a challenge that needs to be resolved. The problem is for us is 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 we have to understand how do we get past that? What are some guidance that we what kind of guidance do we need? Right? What kind of guidance do we need? So I'm gonna talk about eight things that you can kind of look at, eight tips to get a personal guidance system in, in whatever area of your life is. Maybe it's personal, maybe it's relationship, maybe it's business, maybe it's a spiritual thing. We just came off of Easter, a big spiritual holiday. Maybe there's some questions that you came out. I raised one yesterday about, I wonder how people who don't understand the idea of Easter, how they try to put together colored eggs, a giant Easter bunny, a cross, and a tomb. And how what all that has to do with each other? See, that's that that could be an issue for somebody that has to be resolved. That's a spiritual issue. So maybe it's a business issue. You're trying to figure out how do I go to the next level, or how do I get this thing started? Or if you're uh, uh, if you're a speaker, uh, maybe you need somebody like Barry that's on the show here to tell you how to get the how to get that next gig and how how to get in speaking in front of the people you need to speak in front of, right? Or you're like Lillian on here, and and you're able you're, you're one of those people who can. Give people guidance and direction by by speaking to into their life. Okay, I, I I don't know, or maybe you're like pastor, one of the pastors that's on the show right now that you, you need spiritual guidance and they can help you and guide you in that. See, I don't know what your issue is, but everybody has them, and everybody needs solutions, right? Everybody needs solutions. So let's talk about that. Here's the question, you see, and and what I believe, what I believe is, uh, you're welcome, Barry. Uh, what what I believe is is that the answer is right in here. It's right right inside of you. You just need the right question to be asked to help you get it out of yourself. Okay. Now that may take somebody else speaking into your life, like like Barry helps with people, or Lillian helps with people, or a pastor helps with people. 
or, or, or it may be a, a resource that you need exposure to. Or like earlier, when, when my pharmacist Tom Jones was on, it might be you need to talk to somebody about a particular kind of medicine that can help you. And what does this do and what does that do? You see, that's this idea of getting an expert speak into your life. So what, but a, a good question to ask yourself is what are you overwhelmed with? Almost everybody I know is overwhelmed with something. They're overwhelmed with something, right? They're overwhelmed, maybe they're overwhelmed with no time. Or, I know some people that have too much time on their hands, right? They have too much time on their hands, and that's how they get themselves in trouble. That's how they, that's how they, they develop bad habits, right? They develop bad habits. So, are you overwhelmed, right? Maybe lack of time, time to do stuff, or too much time, right? Or, what about the lack of resources? Sometimes people don't know what they need to make, make the next step. Sometimes they don't need. Sometimes, you know, I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you. I've had this happen to me a time or two. But I've been in a hurry going somewhere, and I'm just going along, and all of a sudden, the car quits. And you pull over, and you're like, man, this is, a ba this is bad timing. This is bad timing. This should not be happening. It's not should be happening. You're thinking, okay, what's wrong with my car? Why did my car just quit? And you, you know, you 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 get out, and you raise the hood, and you look under the hood, and you you jiggle a thing or two, you know, and, and, and you're thinking, okay, well, well, okay, well, I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything. You you walk around, you look at all the tires, and okay, I don't see anything wrong. You get back in, you turn the key, and and you try to crank it, and it won't crank. And then then you look at the gas gauge. And you realize, I'm out of gas. There's no gas in the gas tank. See, sometimes you don't know. You always don't. You don't always know what resources you need, right? You don't always know what resources you need. And, and, and so, are you overwhelmed with something, right? Are you overwhelmed with something? And so, so sometimes lack of time. Sometimes it's lack of resources. Sometimes it's lack of direction. You don't know which way to go. You don't know. You don't know, as Barry mentioned earlier, what's what's the first step I take. What should be the first thing I should do? Well, sometimes that's that that's part of the problem. Is that you're here, and you're trying to go here, and you can't figure out that. Okay. You know, prior planning prevents poor performance. It, it sometimes it does, Marty. Sometimes it does. But if you don't know how to get from here to there, all the planning in the world won't get you there. All the planning in the world won't get you there if you don't know where there is. See, sometimes lack of direction is not because you, you don't you, you're thinking I need to go that direction. Sometimes you don't know where you're going. Sometimes you don't know where you need to go. Right? So so think about that. Sometimes you're just overwhelmed with I don't know which direction to go here. I don't know which direction to go here. Pastors face this oftentimes. They they, they might be candidating to go to a new congregation. In some in some groups that's a, you're assigned. In other groups it's it's free market. But I've had this happen to me because I I've operated in a free market system on that and and you get called to two places. You get called to two places. Now, it took me a while to learn not to do what I'm fixing to tell you I did. You get called to two places, and then you're, like, confused because you're thinking, okay, they prayed about it, and I prayed about it, and they prayed about it, and I prayed about it, and how can it be that I'm supposed to go both places? So you don't know what direction to go, and you have to have somebody help you figure that out, right? You have to have a way to figure that out. So sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes it's a lack of decision. You can't, you're overwhelmed by what decision do I make? Or I don't know what decision to make. Maybe there's too many decisions to make. Yeah, you need input to get on the right path. So sometimes we're just overwhelmed by these things that we, we, we don't know. I mean, when, when this is there, when this is there, I'm telling you, everything looks like a hand in your face, even if the answer is, is right there. Right? Even if the answer is right there. So lack of decision. And then lack of control. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed because we feel like everything is...
spinning out of control. Spinning out of control. We it just just like you know, it's like we don't know what to do. It's out of control. We can't control it. You know, uh, uh, it, 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 it's it, it, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. So sometimes it's it's we overwhelmed because things are out of our control, and so we're, we're just kind of like frozen, right? We're frozen. So sometimes in a business, it's because of lack of profit. You may have a great idea, you may have a great market, you may have a great message, but you have no profit. You have no money to make your business work. What do you do? What do you do? I've seen churches get in that situation where they, 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 they like they have a great idea and they and, and they're able to do this and this and this, but they have no money to do it. What do you do? I have kid, you know, I, I I've worked with kids who who wanted to go to college. They were smart, they were sharp, they 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 knew what they wanted to do in life, but they had no money to get there. That's frustrating. That's overwhelming. That's like why all this effort? Why did something not happen? What, what did I miss? See, overwhelm, overwhelm can get to you. So, I, did, I want to share this quote with you from uh, Tara Bullowin with Bright Brown. Here's, here's what she wrote. The number one sign that it's time for a coach. It, yeah, you can ask the Lord for discernment. That is very true, Lillian. Uh, and, and he can help you. But, uh, but sometimes we get in our, we get in, you know, we get in God's way and we don't get the message. <laughs> Uh, it's time. You need a coach when you hit that feeling that of being overwhelmed. I'm going to make that big for you, okay? I'm going to make that big. I'm going to make that really big there, so you can see it. You feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed, and and it just just kind of runs over you. There's too much to do. Too many hours in the day. I don't know how much I'm going to profit. I need at the end of the month. I'm overwhelmed because I don't have control. My employees, my vendors, my life, my relationship, I just, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed. So maybe, maybe that's an issue you face. Maybe that's something you might struggle with, right? Maybe that's something that you see is something that needs to be worked through, okay? Maybe that's something you feel like needs to be worked through. All right, so that's number one, eight, the eighth tip. That is, you probably figured it out already. That was get somebody to help you, right? But what does that look like? What if you just need to talk to somebody? What is if you just need to talk to somebody? You know, because sometimes in life these things happen. Somebody that's outside what you do, outside your business, outside your, your niche of life, outside your family, outside your connections. Why would you need somebody like that? Well, sometimes there's things in our life that, that, that we, we're not quite ready to let everybody else know about. It, maybe it would embarrass our business. Maybe it would embarrass us. Maybe it's something that we don't want other people to know about at this point in life, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's that kind of thing. Maybe sometimes we just need somebody that's unbiased, right, in their viewpoint or their insight. In other words, they're, they're a straight, they'll tell us straight up. They'll just, they'll just put it right there in front of us, right? And they'll say, from where I'm sitting, here's what I see. From what I'm hearing, here's what I hear. Because, hey, you know, the people that know us and love us, that they want the very best for us. But sometimes, let's be honest, they're not honest with us. You know, if you, have, if you ask an employee a question and you're the boss and write their paycheck, what do you suppose they're going to tell you? What you think. They're going to tell you what they think you want to hear. I mean, you may have a bad idea, but an employee might say, yeah, well, let's give it a try because they're thinking it's your money, it's your business, it's your reputation, and if it don't work, well, that's your fault, right? Sometimes you need an unbiased viewpoint or insight. You just need that in your life. You need that in your business. You need that in your relationships. You just, you just need that. So, so, when, so when we talk about these things over here, an unbiased viewpoint or insight, that's important. That's important. If you really want to get to the core of something, right? Sometimes you just need a sounding board to talk it through. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody, I mean, just have a conversation with them and they just took what you were talking about and ran off with it? 
you know, they stole your idea, they stole your conversation, they they stole your energy and passion and went off and did it. Sometimes that's what happens, and so you don't you don't you don't share with people, you don't talk with people because you're afraid somebody's going to do something else with it, right? You just need somebody to sound ideas off of, sound a conversation off of, sound how you're feeling off of. You might be saying, you know, I kind of feel this way about it, and I, and I don't quite know why. Right? I, I, I don't quite know why. But you can't tell that to other people. You certainly can't tell it to the people, you, person you're trying to talk to about this. If it's a conversation in a relationship, you can't tell it to a customer. You know, you can't you can't walk up to a customer and say, "Okay, now, 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 tell me, tell me, uh, how much do you want me to charge for my product that I'm going to sell you?" You can't have that conversation because they're going to say, "As cheap as you can." Well, that you're, that cheap may be unprofitable for you. May be unsustainable for you. It may, it may, it may put you in the market in a bad situation. So you, you need somebody to have a sounding board, right? Have a sounding board. So when you just need to talk to somebody, look what Do Donna Spina said about about the whole kind of coaching. Standing center stage holds an expectation of excellence. Who can you speak to and trust without feeling exposed or in uh, impairing your credibility or reputation with your organization, with your client, with your friends, with your family. How would it feel to have a safe sounding board for honest feedback on your ideas? A partner that would support you in the design, the process of design, implementation, and evaluation. And Donna's recommendation is hire a coach. Hire a coach. Hire someone that can help you get there and be that sounding board because you need someone to talk to, right? You need somebody to talk to. All right, here's another tip. I know what to do. I'm just not doing it. Have you ever said that to yourself? I know what to do. I'm a smart person. I'm a business person. I'm this. I'm that. But I'm just not getting it done. I, I, for whatever reason, I, I know what to do. I'm just not getting it done. Maybe because you you're, you feel stuck. You know, maybe you're one of those people who you analyze till you paralyze. And so you're stuck. You're stuck in your own mind. You're stuck in your own thinking. You know what to do, right? You know what to say. You know what to sell. You know what action. You're just not doing it. And you're stuck. What do you do with that? What do you do with that, right? What, 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 what do you do... When you when you find yourself, hey Walt Wise, glad to have you, man. Hope you guys are thawing out up there. What do you do? I just don't know what to do. So you're stuck, right? You're stuck. Or you're unsure or confused, right? You're unsure. Or you're confused. What what do you do? How do you have a conversation with 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 being unsure or confused? Well, you know, I learned a long time ago. You, I, I've learned just to say. Okay, excuse me, I'm confused. <laughs> and usually people will step back and reframe everything for you, but most people aren't willing to say, okay, I'm totally confused about this, right? I'm totally confused about this. So wh what do you do with that, right? When you, when, you, when you find yourself, I know what to do, I'm just not doing it. I'm, con I'm, I'm unsure of it or I'm confused about it. Because, because in the business world, sales world, we know a confused mind does not buy. A confused mind does not move forward. It, it is against our very intellect to say, okay, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to do something, which normally turns out that we do the wrong thing. We, we're confused, so we, we, we freeze. We get stuck. We, we, stay, we stay where we are. We don't take action like we should. We know what to do. We're just not doing it. We know what to say. We're not doing it. We know what to sell. We're just not doing it. We're just not doing it. What do you do? Are you afraid? You know, we're, 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 we're afraid. Uh, one of my mentors, Paul Martinelli, says, you, you just jump and you get your wings on the way down. You get your wings on the way down, right? You start flapping your wings, you, but you do it afraid. But that's hard. A lot of people aren't willing to do it. They, they know what to do. They're just not doing it. But what do you do? How does that help you? Right? Or maybe your belief system is, is, is off. 
Okay, maybe you don't believe in yourself. Maybe you don't believe in your product. Maybe you don't believe in your company. Maybe you don't believe in a relationship. And of course, if it's in a spiritual context, maybe you don't believe in your church, or you don't believe this the spiritual guidance that you have. Maybe you don't believe the Bible. Maybe you don't believe God. Whatever, I don't know. But sometimes you know what to do. It's just you're not doing it because there's a there's a hitch, there's a catch in your belief system about something. What, what do you do with that? What do you do with that, right? So, I know what to do, I'm just not doing it. Look at this quote. It's not always about what you know, says Elizabeth Saunders with Real Life. You, you know you need a coach when, I'm going to make this big for you. You know you need a coach when you know what to do, but you're not implementing, right? The lack, the lack of change typically occurs because you need so uh, you need to experience a paradigm shift that requires you to have somebody on the outside with an outside perspective challenging your assumptions because you need someone to help you translate general specific uh, principles into specific steps that you can take in your own life. So so realize that many times that that's what you need to have have happen. Because you need someone to help you. Oh, let me turn this off. Oh, sorry about that. You need somebody to help you translate, right? Right? You need someone to, to help you work through it, even though you know what to do. Oftentimes, you're stuck because it's too general. Some, you need somebody to help you give you an outside view, right? So, here's another one. Here's another tip. What I'm trying is just not working. What I'm trying is just not working. Maybe that's happened to you in your business, in a relationship, in your spiritual life, in your in your family life, in a project you're trying to, to accomplish. Is you you're trying, but it, it's just not working. Well, many times that you can get away from there is because, you know, as mama always said, if you always do what you always done, you always get what you have right now. How's that working for you? Right? Usually it's not working, and you're and you're and you just don't know what to do because you you're trying. It's just not working. I, I'm doing what they said do, or I'm doing what that said do, or I'm following the instruction. You ever got a set of instructions with something, and you started doing everything the instruction said, but it wouldn't work, and it wouldn't work, and you're thinking, what, what, what is it? Oftentimes you need an outside objective, right? You need an outside objective. You need. Sometimes you need a strategic process. Sometimes you got the steps in the wrong order. In other words, you, 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 you're not, you, need, you need to be doing something in a sequential order and, and you have all the order on the page, you just got, it's numbered wrong. It's numbered wrong, right? It's the wrong numbers. You know, four needs to be where two is and two needs to be where eight is and eight needs to be where four is, that kind of thing. Well, you just you need a strategic process because hey, let's face it, most people are not strategic. They don't think strategically. Uh, the, they struggle with that, but they're trying. They're trying. So this idea is something that you can work on. And then, and then, many times we never ask ourselves in the process of trying what else. What else? Because we we our mind we get blinders on. And it's and it's like well, well, I know what to do. I got the instructions here. I, I I got it mapped out, but it's not working. And and you don't know to ask yourself the question, real important question: What else? What else is there? What am I? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Because most of us, about three what else's, run out of what else's. But we have found in the process. It's about number eight. What else? Where the real light bulb comes on, but no, but you're not. Nobody's asking you that. Nobody's pushing you there. Nobody's guiding you there. Nobody's walking with you there. What else? What else? What else? What else? And, and so you need that. You need that. So, what I'm trying is not working. Sometimes we think we know the right path to take in our career growth or our business growth, or our relationship but we find it's not working. We find it's not working. So here's what Wendy Weiner said. Wendy pointed out to us 
In order to get the results we want, we need guidance from someone who can see things from a more objective view, not subjective view, right? That is somebody who's on the outside, somebody who's on the other side of the hand, somebody who doesn't have to, who's not dependent on success and failure for you in this thing, somebody that can help you get a better return on your investment. Surge, activity, and allow one to remove the obstacles that are precluding results. That's what we often need, right? How do you get this, this guidance performance system is what we're talking about today. So, hey, if you're catching me on the replay or you're just now joining the show, we're talking about this whole concept of how do we get from A to Z, how do we get from where we are to where we need to be, whether it's relationships or business or personal or our, our, our organization or our spiritual life or our personal growth. How do we get there? How, how does that happen for us? And I'm bringing eight experts to you today, eight, eight coaches who are talking about what needs to be happening, and here's the questions you have to, that we normally ask ourselves or we see happen in the real world, okay? We see happen in the real world. Man, this is taking way too long and costing way too much. Maybe you've said that in a business. Maybe you said that in a relationship. This is taking too long and causing way too much, right? And and we're looking at that. We're struggling with that. We, we wonder what that's about and, and what's happening and, and why that's occurring, right? Businesses do that all the time. You know, what, what you, you figure there's a certain amount of hours that takes place to do a job or produce a product or make a sale in a business. And, and when it starts taking too long or costing too much, it becomes like, okay, something's broken here. How do I fix it? Because to me, it looks like this should happen like this. Okay, so what you what you're thinking about is how do I get a faster path to cash? Okay, how do I get a faster path to cash? Maybe I don't understand a faster path to cash. Maybe I can only see this path to cash, and I and I don't know how to do that. In, in my in, in my 10K payday program, I talk about that with people all the time about about well. How would you like to just make ten thousand dollars? Would that help you get a? Uh, would that help you understand an issue in, that's going on? How, how do you get that? Oh yeah, sure, yeah, great, yeah, okay. Well, let's get a faster path to cash. And when you start explaining how to get a faster path to cash, they're kind of like, "Why didn't I think of that before?" Well, because your thought is this is taking too long and costs too much, and that's all you can see. You know, it's that hand in the face thing. Sometimes you have to help people see a faster path to cash. Sometimes it's because they're not using best practices. It's just like dating somebody. If, you don't, if you've never dated someone over a period of time, you might not understand how you move to the next step. I run into this with people all the time in, organ, in nonprofit organizations called churches. When, they get, when somebody's trying to start a church from scratch, they go out here and they gather a few people and they get a few more people and then suddenly they get stuck about 30 or 40 people and they can't get past that. And then usually it's because they're not using best practices. They don't know how to connect people to the next thing that's coming. They don't know how to connect people to the next group of people. They're, they're, so, so it takes too long and winds up costing way too much and eventually the whole thing fails. Same thing true in a relationship. Relationships can go on way too long and cost way too much and simply because you don't know what you're doing in the relationship building process. You don't know how to connect the next thing to the you know to, to the process of a relationship, right? All right, so sometimes sorry, sometimes it's sometimes it's um, time management issues. Sometimes things take too long and cost too much because you don't you, you don't know how to manage the process of time, your time, their time, other people's time. Sometimes you're you're you, you should be taking action and you're not taking action, right? And, and when that happens, you th things like this happen. It takes too long, costs too much because time is money, right? And money loves speed. And oftentimes we don't understand that. All right, so what do we do with that? Well, if your business are thinking are thinking about starting a business, if you're you're in business, I shouldn't be saying that, are thinking about starting a business and thinking, well, I could really use some help to help me figure out the best way to do this. 
you should hire a coach, right? You should hire a coach. Going Lone Wolf, and I'm going to make this big for you to see, Going Lone Wolf uh, can cost much more in wasted time and money. And all that can be avoided by working with a coach. Now, Tina Dodge says that, and, and, and she's a, she, again, she's a business development coach. She talks about that. So, if, so you need to understand, oftentimes, when that thought of, of is occurring, that, man, this is taking too long and this costs too much, you probably need a coach. You probably need to look at having a coach. All right, so, all right, so we, we've been kind of talking about this for a little bit here. I have an idea, but only one idea, mine. How many times have we said that? Oftentimes, that's because other ideas, other people's ideas have failed, and they have maybe cost us time, energy, and resources, and therefore, we're thinking, look, the only real idea that's going to work here is mine, so we're just going to use my idea. But all of us know, usually, that the first idea is not the best idea. The best idea usually comes way out there, like 9,999 times of how to build a light bulb. And finally, we get to the best idea because we didn't, because we kept pushing out there, because we weren't going to settle that the only idea is my idea, and it's this one idea, right? Sometimes because we don't have a good feedback system. Oftentimes, uh, we we try something and we think it's really good and really great because we really didn't get the right feedback. We talked about that a little earlier. That oftentimes we're asking people the we're asking the wrong people the wrong question, and therefore we don't get what we need to know, right? Oftentimes, it's because of our own personal insecurities. We don't want anybody else to know that we don't have another idea. So we're just going to use my one idea. Because I'm the leader. I got the title. I got the all, I got the corner office. You know, I signed the check. I don't want anybody else to know I only really got one idea here. Personal insecurities. Personal insecurities. Limited creativity. Hey, let's face it. If you're honest with yourself... Not everybody is creative. Not everybody can come up with a... Uh, most people can come up with an idea or two, but, but beyond that, being creative with idea development, they're not. Part, and sometimes it's just because they're not exposed to anything other than what they do. Here's a little secret. Do you realize that probably the answer to what you're looking for in creativity is not inside your own industry or your own niche or even your own relationships and the people you know? It's going to be outside it. It's going to be outside. It's going to be inside of somebody who doesn't think like you and doesn't act like you and doesn't walk like you and doesn't talk like you, who's not in the same, who's not blinded by what you think this is how it has to be done. Because the famous words here are, we've never done it that way before. All right? So that's what we find. So here's a quote. The number one sign that you need to hire a business coach the number one sign you need to hire a business coach is when you find yourself only listening to your own ideas. The higher up the ladder you are, the more people tend not to be honest and just comply, right? And just comply with you. So what do you do with that? Well, the same thing can happen whether you're an entrepreneur, or business owner, family person, relationship, pastor, I don't care what it is. It happens to you because we wind up trying to work alone. And therefore, we usually don't have our own ideas. We all need checks and balances. Dr. Cherry Collier said, uh, shared that in, in, in uh, personal matters uh, in her company. And, and that just becomes important for yourself, right? It just becomes important for yourself. So, repeat, repeat. Every time I turn around, I keep getting the same thing. That's the last one. So hang with me here. The last one, frustration with others. We just get frustrated because every because things just keep happening the same way over and over again. Maybe it's our employees, maybe it's our relationship, maybe it's it's, it's our process, but it just seems like I've repeated this over and I get the same answer every time. I get the same thing happening every time. Maybe there's unhealthy dynamics in the workplace, in relationships, etc., and you're just not seeing it. You're just not seeing it, right? It's just not there for you. You just you're oblivious to it. You think everything's okay, but you but you know we keep trying and trying and trying and nothing happens, nothing changes, right? It could it could happen, it could happen for us in in this area of re reappearing issues, 
thoughts, patterns, issues. In other words, the same thing keeps coming up over and over again in your business. The same thing keeps coming up in a relationship. The same thing keeps coming up with ideas. The same thing keeps coming up with uh, in, in, in the process of carrying things out. It just it, it reappears all the time. That means you have not conquered it. And, and the reason is that Aristotle said this, the mind that created it is is incapable, I'm going to give it my own word, is incapable of solving it. The mind that created it can't solve it because it created it. You need another mind. It, you need another mind. That's why I think masterminds are important. That's why I think getting around smart other smart people is important. That's why I hang out with people like Walt and Barry and Lillian and, and, and Fernando and some other guys. That's why I hang out with them because they have another idea. Tom Jones and, and Andy Falco and, 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 and Dave Hobley, people like that, Mar Marty Hurst. I hang out with those people. Why? Because it gives me a different perspective. It gives me a different perspective. And whoever else might be on here, that's why I hang out with you. That's why you hopefully that's why you watch my shows. I give you a different perspective on something. And I certainly get that from you. Right? So here's what Here's what Joe Ilfil said. My clients have often have a similar story reappearing in their lives in different ways. Repeat, 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 repeat. Remember what I said? Okay, let me I want to make that big for you. A great time to work within with an executive coach is when you find yourself repeatedly frustrated by others around you. Are the same workplace dynamics or relationship dynamics or situational dynamics and you really don't know how to shift it it's, gonna, it's like I keep running into this an unbiased perspective of a coach is what you need an unbiased perspective of a coach is what you need right you're ready to move to the next level right you're ready to move to the next level but what do you do what do you do here's what you can do right what you need to do is what we call the law of the lid. The law of the lid says that you can you, you can only take everything as far as your own development is. You can only take your company. If you're a five, then your company's ever going all it's ever going to be is a five. If your relationships are five, you're only going to take it to a five, right? If your profits is a five, all you all you're ever going to be able to do is take it to a five until you grow it, until you have someone help you grow it. There are steps that you can take. There's things, insights you need to help you get there. Okay, It's the law of the lid. We all have them in different areas. It could be in our business. It could be in our communication. It could be, it could be in our own personal development. It could, it could be in our mind. It could be in our behaviors, our attitude. It could be in our spiritual life. It could be any number of places. There's a lid. And until you raise the lid, you're not going to go any further in those areas the law of the lid. So how do you get past the law of the lid? If you're alive and, and breathing as an entrepreneur, you need a coach. Okay? All right, you need a coach. Corey Blake talked about this. It's just it's important that you have those. You have to go to the next level, right? You have to go to the next level. So how do you do that? So what do you do with it, right? So what do you do with it? Well, first of all, I'll give you I will give you personally a free 30-minute consultation. In other words, I'll just I'll just hear what you got to say. Maybe you're trying to think, how do I move with my speaking business? How do I move with my book? How do I move with my personal life? How do I move with my relationship? How do I move with my business? How do I move with my church? How do I move to the next level? How do I get there? How do I get there, right? How, how, how do I get there, right? Well, here's how you get there, right? Here's how you get there. I'm going to make it big for you. Here's how you get there. Just text the letters D E R to 71441, right? Do that on your phone. Just take out your phone and do that. Text that to me, and I'll set up an appointment with you. Or just PM me here on Facebook. Just PM me here on 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 Facebook. That's that's all you need to do. Just let me know about that, right? That's all you have to really really do. Okay. Well, hey, I hope today I hope today has been helpful to you. I hope you learned something from this. I hope it I hope it sparked some ideas for you. Maybe maybe in today's training, 
if I did my job, what I promised I said I would do in the beginning, I, I've been able to help you realize, see something. Some, something's happened. You realize, oh, I do have a hand in front of my face, and here it is. Maybe I've helped you realize, hey, I need to get a different perspective on this hand in front of my face. I need to, I need to do that. I need to make that happen. I, 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 need to, I, need to, I need to have the right questions. See, great leaders, uh, uh, leaders ask great questions. Good leaders ask great questions. They learn to ask great questions. Great coaches ask great questions because the answer is, is in here. See, I can give you my answers and how I would solve your problem. But you might not could do that. You might not have the resources to do that. You may not have the experience to do that. You may not have the talents to do that. You may not have the gifts to do that. You may not have the expertise to do that. But I believe the answer's in you. You just need the right questions asked to get that out of you. To get that out of you. And so I, I want to give you my time and energy, at least 30 minutes of it, to help you get your own guidance performance system. Right, your own guidance performance system, and you do that simply here by being able to to have a conversation, a short conversation. It's free, and, and I hope that helps you. Thank you, Lillian. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, and, and I just I just want to help you get to the next level because there's nothing more frustrating in your life than getting stuck. There's nothing more frustrating than being in that spin cycle, you know. Like in the washing machine, when it gets it gets hung in the spin cycle and it spins and spins and spins and spins and spins and spins, and spins but nothing ever happens. There's nothing there's nothing more frustrating than being broke. There's nothing more frustrating than not having a way out. There's nothing more frustrating than being lost. There's nothing more frustrating in all of that. And sometimes it, you just need somebody that's that's right here, right? That's just right here on the other side of the hand, saying, "Hey, here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm hearing." Are here are some questions. Have you asked yourself these questions? No, I never thought about those questions before. Nobody's ever asked me that. That that's all we're talking about. That's all we're talking about. So as you think through that process, that's that's what today's show is about. How do you get your own guidance performance system? Because if you don't, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be you're going to hang up in one of these eight areas or more. You're going to hang up in one of these eight areas and you'll stay there until something happens. Yeah, we call that a whirlpool. Exactly, Bo. Yeah, a whirlpool. Right. Sometimes it's a washing machine and sometimes it's a little white thing that people sit on, right? And it just whoop, it goes down, right? And that's what happens. That's what happens in your life. Well, hey, thanks for being on the show today. I appreciate you being here. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed getting it as much as I've enjoyed delivering it to it and sharing with you today. Uh, and again, you can you can get this free 30-minute consultation. Just text DER to 71441 or PM me here on Facebook. Hopefully, it will help you. Uh, and hopefully, you can find someone. If not me, find somebody else. If not me, find somebody else that can help you move forward and get your own guidance performance system. Well, hey, thanks for being on my show today. Hope you have a, re uh, a blessed day today and that you go and make something happen in your life. And get your own guidance performance system. Thanks for being on the Dean Renfro Show. Talk to you later.